Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. So today I'm really excited because I'm doing two of my favorite things. I am swatching eyeshadow and I'm doing a collab. So I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys my green eyeshadow collection today. And I am doing it in collab with one of my favorite people here on YouTube and Instagram, Lauren, aka Lauren. Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at remembering her Instagram handle. Lauren is awesome. I just recently started a project pan that she created. It's the My Favorite Things project. So I was super excited to do that. And now I'm just really excited to do a collab with her. She is an amazing person. She is such a sweet and kind soul. And I'm just excited to be collabing with her. So today I'm going to be obviously swatching my green eyeshadow collection. I have quite a bit. I realized in my swatching my blue eyeshadows, I was a little bit chatty. It was like over three minutes so we're not doing that today we're just swatching not gonna be too chatty about them but obviously if there's one that's like specifically one i love or hate i will let you or not hate but dislike i'll let you guys know so let's just get into it and i'm probably going to be going by brand so i'm going to start with bh cosmetics and the shade i'm going to be swatching in their color festival palette is this shade haze it's a lighter kind of lime green shade that's very pigmented that is haze and then the next um, palette is one that is newer in my collection this is their ultimate artistry palette and it has like geez louise it says 42 one holy crap so apparently there's 42 eyeshadows in here did i need 42 eyeshadows no but the shades i'm gonna swatch today are this shade this shade this shade and possibly the shade i'm not sure if it's that green but let's see oh it's kind of one of those like duo chromey green brown so i'll show you guys so those are the four well okay this is haze from um the color festival and then uh, these four are from the ultimate artistry palette super pretty i am actually wearing um this shade this shade and this shade today Yes, those are all the greens from the Artistry palette. And then I have the Zodiac palette. And in here, I'm going to be swatching the Sagittarius shade. Aquarius is like a green-ish shade, but it's very similar to like Play by Play um, from ColourPop or like Electric from the Subculture palette. It's kind of like that peachy gold greeny shade, but that is Sagittarius. So the next palette I have is the Cheers to Beauty by Colored Rain, and the shade I have in here is Grandier. Sorry if I'm totally blinding you, but it's like a, just like a deep, deep green. Actually, Sagittarius would make a really pretty, um, like, lighter in the inner corner-ish and then deeper in the outer corner. Those two would make a really nice combo for an eye look gonna keep that in mind this is my newest green palette and i'm super excited about grabbing it it's the milani what is this one called jade rich jade wait is that what it's called yes the rich jade palette it has let's see five greens in it that are like true greens this one's more of a minty green but we're still gonna count it so i'm wearing this shade this shade and this shade and a little bit of that but that's not technically green it's more of a gold but awkward position those are all the shades in the jade palette and i will tell you they are stunning um try me is specifically like such a unique kind of a unique green in my collection this one by bh is definitely similar but this is just a lot more like bam in your face so those are the milani jade shades we're gonna go in a juvia's place. We have the Magic Mini, and I'm gonna be swatching Boozo, which is this green right there. That is gorgeous. Now I'm kind of regretting not using that today. I have the Nubian 2, and the shade in here I'm gonna swatch is Egypt, which is like just kind of a nice, deeper, olivey green. That is so pretty. Juvia's place kills it all the time then the zulu palette i will swatch this light green like limey shade i may have used this once but i don't actually know i need to though it is pretty i i'm getting really really into like green and blue eyeshadow recently so i'm excited we have the saharan palette and i'm gonna be swatching what 
Wadabi, I think is how you pronounce it. And this is kind of like a chartreuse greeny shade. I just wanted to swatch it because, you know, it, it's in that green family. And it's stunning. Last Juvia's Place palette is the Afrique palette, and I'm going to be swatching Niger and Togo. And obviously it's just like a matte green and then a shimmery deeper green. Yeah. So those are the two shades from the Afrique palette. I'm going to go to my Makeup Revolution palette. So I have the Revolution X Pride palette, and I'm going to swatch this shade right here. I like that shade because it kind of has like a brownie shift, like the tiniest bit. Then I have the Emily Wants palette, and this one has three greens I'm gonna swatch. So I'll swatch Grateful, Side Hustle, and Top Story. So we have Grateful, Side Hustle, and then this is actually Corduroy, not Top Story, but super beautiful, super green, are we surprised? I have one shade from my Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette, and that is Bless Her Heart. Another olive green. That is bless her heart. Guys, the shade's not very like bam in your face. It's, I don't know if that palette's getting a little older, but Luscious is like such a stunning, like metallic wet looking shadow and it's still just as good. So I don't know, I've not used bless her heart a lot, but maybe it just has never been that good. I forgot to mention the Jaclyn Hill palette, um, the Jaclyn Hill X Marte palette in my last video for blue, but I wasn't sure I was keeping it and Recently, I've decided I'm keeping it, even though I don't support Morphe anymore. But I'm going to swatch these two shades, and I will put on the screen what they're called, because I can't even remember. They're very deep. That would make such, like, a nice kind of Christmassy, like, deep, smoky green um, eye for Christmas. Very pretty. We're running out of hand space, so I'm figuring out where else we're going to swatch. Okay, we're going to go into e.l.f. palettes and I'm going to go into my Modern Metals. They have another olive green. How many olive greens can I own? There's that olive green from the Modern Metals. I have three from their 18 Hit Wonder, which is one of their newest. I This one's like that duo chromey kind of play-by-play -play color. I'm not going to swatch it because I am considering just swatching all of my duo chromes and then keeping like my blues and purples and greens and all those shades to just kind of like one standard color. So I am, basically what I'm saying is I'm gonna do a whole video swatching all my duochromes. So we're gonna stick with, actually this one's kind of a duochrome too. So we're just gonna stick with evergreen, which is obviously just a matte like evergreen shade. Beautiful, beautiful. I do really like this palette, by the way. Totally worth the $14. We're gonna do my Anastasia palette. So I have the Artist palette, which came out in like 2015. It's pretty old. And the shade I'll swatch is Anaconda, which the shade is still stunning and I still need to like use it because I don't think I've ever put it on my eyes. There is Anaconda. It's so funny because I'll swatch like Juvia's Place or um, some of my e.l.f. palettes or BH palettes or some of my Perfusion, which are going to be my next ones, and I'm like, they're so much better than that shade. So I don't know if it's just because it's old or if, like, it just wasn't a great shade. Just like, which one? Oh, bless your heart. I'm like, these high-end brands, your shades aren't really impressing me, boo. And then I have Destiny and Untamed in the Subculture palette. I've used these once, only one time, to do, like, a play eye look that I did right when I got this palette. Okay, but I need to use them again because those are going to be awesome fall shades. Super pretty. I'm in love with this palette. I know it's controversial, but I adore it. Okay, guys, we are down to Profusion. I have a lot. Um, We're going to start with the palette that uh, had a little accident today. Had a little accident right before this video because it fell to the ground. We had a little uh, problem. This one got all sad, but it's okay. It was the blue and the silver. We're okay, we're fine with it. Never used them before. Kind of sad because I didn't get to try them, but it's all good. We're, we're here for Jade and Jade survived, so it's okay. That is Jade, another stunning like army, kind of army-ish green maybe, maybe not. 
I don't know. Maybe that's... I want to consider this like an alligator green. Can that, can that be what I call it? We're gonna call this alligator green. Because that's what I think of when I see those shades. We have the Shimmers palette. You guys have heard me rave about this. Maybe. I've raved about it a lot in my personal life and on my Instagram. This is Majesty from the Shimmers palette. It is such a stunning like lighter green. Don't really know how to describe what kind of green, but we have the Spectrum palette. I'm gonna give you guys a second to just stare at the beauty. And Lucky, this lime matte green, which I've used only once. I used it today. Oh my gosh, it's such a good transition shade for any green look, really. It's it's so good. This pa These Perfusion palettes are freaking bomb. Okay, Lucky. Then we have one Perfusion palette where I'm a little, I need to test it out more. Um, it's the Chocolates palette. And this one has three greens, so we're gonna do, here, I'll put it this way. We're gonna swatch Quest, Wicked, and Cypress. We're gonna do it on the hairy arm, okay? Those are all of the shades. See, and they just don't swatch that well, so it's like, do I want it? We'll play with it more. This, this, you may see that in a declutter soon, you know? Because the palettes, the palette collection is getting a little too crazy here, and it's my fault. I keep buying palettes, so We're, we'll do a declutter soon. The last is my newest Perfusion palette. It's the Paradise palette, and I will swatch these four shades right here. This one and this one, I think, are pressed glitters. Don't know for sure. And those are the shades. The middle two are the pressed glitters. I'm excited to play with them just to see how they actually work on the eyes. That is my entire blue, or not blue, oh my gosh, that was my entire green eyeshadow collection. I hope you guys really liked this video. I have a lot of fun um, filming this, kind of looking through my collection. Last month obviously made me realize how many um, blue eyeshadows I had, which was like 30, and then, I have 40 green eyeshadows, that's freaking ridiculous. So. This obviously is also helping me realize what I need to stop buying. I feel like green for me is a shade I can pan or I feel more comfortable panning. So this kind of helps me realize, you know, what shades I may want to bring into um, projects sometime in the next year. Who knows when, but eventually. But yeah, guys, um, make sure to check out Instagram. I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning, but Lauren is going to be doing her swatching all her green eyeshadows on her Instagram. I'm going to have like my full, like a nicer lineup of the colors on my Instagram, but this was just to play around, just live swatch these bad boys for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.